Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the new KJV Wide Margin Journaling Edition from Tyndale Bibles. I recently got a mystery box, this big massive box full of Bibles from Tyndale, and I had, I had a lot of fun opening that box full of Bibles. And one of the ones that really pleasantly surprised me was this Bible right here. It's called the King James Version Wide Margin Journaling Edition. I opened it up, I saw this beautiful Bible with this like etched cover. It says ornate tile black hardcover, a leather-like. I was really impressed, and when I opened it up, I realized that it was very similar in fact, the same kind of overall idea as the NLT edition of the Wide Margin Journaling Edition Bible, which I really like. I like it so much so that I sent an, a copy of this Bible off to one of my favorite rebinders, and he is working on a custom rebind of that Bible, which I hope to be showing you on the channel very soon. I really like this Bible in the NLT, and I was very impressed that Tyndale decided to do a King James Version edition of it as well. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through this Bible, show you that everything that it has to offer, there's several different editions of this that are out now in different bindings, but I really like this hardcover edition with this ornate design on the cover. I think it's really cool, and it's a it's a unique, more modern edition of the KJV with a single column type setting and wide margins. I think it's I think it's really really awesome. So before we dive in, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. This is the KJV Wide Margin Journaling Edition from Tyndale Bibles. All right, here's a quick look at the little slip case that this edition came in. So this is the hardcover leather-like. There's also like the more traditional synthetic leather, kind of floppy leather-like. I believe there's also a genuine leather edition of this Bible. It gives you all the information on the back about the filament Bible app. So this is a filament-enabled Bible in the KJV translation. Here you can see the NLT version. So it's right at the same size, slightly different look and feel overall. It's got this like lovely ornate texture on it, but overall kind of the same similar size as the, the NLT edition. So it does say Holy Bible on the cover, King James version in there. And that is actually like in there. You can feel that texture with your fingertips on the spine. Very, very classy. It says Holy Bible, KJV and Tyndale. Lovely gold art gilding on the pages, a single red ribbon with red head and tail bands, like very, very nice overall. As far as size goes, the Bible is six and a half inches, sorry, six and a half inches wide, yeah, eight and a half inches tall. So it's a kind of a unique, almost square, more square shape size. And it's almost two inches, more like 1.75 inches thick. So it opens uh, nice and wide. Speaking of how it opens, I'll get it up here. So some gray uh, paste down liner there. It is a Smithsonian binding, but some gray in sheets, presentation page. Then we get into, oh, there's the first title page. It says Holy Bible, Holy Bible, King James Version, KJV wide margin. Copyright page here, all of the information. So there's all the different editions down there at the bottom of the page. This comes in. So several leather-like editions, hardcover and genuine leather editions, both regular and indexed, it looks like, on all of those different uh, editions. Contents page, Old Testament, New Testament. It does have the Tyndale verse finder and the visual overview of the Bible. I'll show you those at the back. I'll show you about those in a moment. The information about the, the Filament Bible app. I've done a full in-depth review of Filament previously, but basically you scan the page numbers in any page of this Bible and it opens the app on your phone or your tablet and, and, and it gives you all of this additional material that's got uh, study notes, videos, maps, infographics, uh, profiles on different people, devotional content, worship music. I mean, it's really chock full of great stuff. So um, here we have the Epistle Dedicatory, the King James Version, so just the first two pages there. And then we get into the text. So this Bible does open kind of nice and wide here right at the beginning. So you see it's a single column text with wide margins, and it does have lines in here. So it's lined, uh, lightly ruled is what they say, wide margins. It's about two and a quarter inches of space here. So there's a lot of space here. The text is an eight-point lexicon typeface, which again is the exact same layout as the, the NLT edition. Um, where the NLT edition is going to be paragraph format, this is a verse-by-verse -verse in the King James. So you see the two right there, but it's very, very similar. There's this symbol at the top of the page right up here. So if you were to scan that little symbol on page three it would with your phone or your tablet, it would open up the app, and that's where you get all of the content that goes along with this. But eight-point uh, typeface. It looks really, really nice on the page. It does, I, said, I think I said this already, it has a Smythe Zone binding, so it does lay flat anywhere you go. I 
really like this hardcover edition. I think it works really well. It looks great. It's pretty standard after that. It's just the verse by verse uh, a text of the King James Bible with these margins. Very, I think the, the lexicon is very, very classy. It looks nice. You've got the headers up here tell you the page number, where you're at, the references. You do have textual footnotes at the bottom of the page. This is not a reference Bible, so it's just going to be footnotes at the bottom, nothing else content-wise. Pretty pretty straightforward, but I like that about this. Um, this basically is clean and wide open and inviting for you to fill this Bible up with your own notes. If you want to do some drawings or doodlings and things like that, um, make your own scripture art, those sorts of things, that's all available um, in this Bible. Now, when we get to the New Testament, you will see here in the Gospel of Matthew that we have a red letter edition. I think that looks really nice. It's a warm red. It definitely has a contrast with the black in a nice way, but it's not too pink. It's 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 a nice, um, it's bold, but it's not too much, I guess I would say. Um, looks really, really great. I think the only question you're going to have to ask yourself if you're interested in this Bible is, is the eight-point typeface big enough for you? I, I find that the smaller sizes of the lexicon are easy to read, that they jump off the page for me as I'm sitting here at my table. Um, compared to Bibles that I've been looking at recently that have 10 or 11 point typefaces, those are obviously a lot bigger, but I still find this readable. You know, I wear glasses, but it's very readable, and it's a, it's a great way to engage with the KJV text um, in a more modern, I said this earlier, a more modern kind of style, right? It's a single column. It's got the wide margins, but it's that classic KJV text. I, I like that. I like that. I like a, a new approach to the KJV. I think that that's um, interesting. So, Big, thick Bible with that verse-by-verse, -verse, single-column format. Here we have Revelation 22. The Bible ends on page 1,594. It goes straight into the Tyndale verse finder, so it's going to give you different uh, topics, and it's going to give you places in the Bible where you can read verses that kind of go into these different uh, topics. At the end of the verse finder, you get some blank pages, and then you get on a slightly thicker, thicker glossier uh, paper, the visual overview of the Bible. So it's got a little bit of like traditional Bible maps kind of stuff, but also here's like the 10 plagues of Egypt, Israel's annual calendar, those sorts of things, an infographic about the book of Psalms. So it's like maps, Bible maps on steroids a little bit. The ministry of Jesus, a little chart here, prophecies of the Messiah, lots of interesting things mixed in with some maps. Um, really, really cool. And again, a really unique, interesting edition. KJV kind of pairs well with the NLT edition. I like these, these single column wide margin journaling editions from Tyndale a lot. So there you have it. That's the KJV Wide Margin Journaling Edition from Tyndale Bibles. They also have it in the NLT as well. I will put some links in the video description to where you can find these online, see what the current prices are, consider ordering one for yourself. I'll also put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook where I will post some photos of this Bible. It's very photogenic. It's a really lovely Bible, so definitely check me out on social media. If you have any thoughts or questions, I would love to hear from you, so leave those in the comments of this video, and I will get back to you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel, surf around on my channel and find some more Bible-related content. I've got reviews like this, fun unboxing videos. I'm here to help you find a Bible that's right for you. Thanks again to my friends at Tyndale Bibles for sending me this one. I really love it. I love the way that it turned out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.